Hey there guys, uh, the Japanese server got a new Neovisions banner. It's uh, a combination unit, uh, Summer, Fina, and Daisy mixed together. Uh, she is a new Neovisions magical cover tank that has some pretty good utility in her kit. Um, you know, she's, she's kind of similar to Cecil, but overall better. Um, you know, obviously she's like a new unit a year later. But I'm going to use some tickets and try to pull for her, see what happens. Uh, let's do the daily first for uh, 250, you know. Maybe just get here and get her in one pull, make this nice and easy. Ah, it didn't happen. Oh well. But anyway, uh, let's see here. So that wasn't good. Oh, by the way, her Limitverse movie is delayed until September, like most LB units these days, or CG LB units these days. Uh, yeah, the Japanese server said they're behind because of, you know, the virus stuff, which is understandable. Anyway, I'm going to use some tickets on this banner. Um, they actually started giving tickets again, so we got five blue tickets from some point. So let's use some tickets and try to get me... A new tank. They actually also added uh, a safety net once again to uh, these banners. Uh, they, they they were gone on JP for a really long time. You like if you you just pulled forever and if you never got the unit, too bad. But uh, this banner, if you spend forty thousand lapis, you get the unit guaranteed. You need to do you need to do uh, eight pulls at five k apiece for the guaranteed um, Daisy, Fina Daisy. I've seen a lot of people calling her different things. Dina, Phasey, etc. I'm not sure what the shorthand way to talk about this unit will eventually be. The commonly accepted way. I kind of like Phasey. Like Fina and Daisy. Shorten it. Whatever. Overall, I don't, I don't really like combo units. I think it's kind of silly putting two units in one, but... And also, if I'm going to be honest here, I don't like Daisy as a unit either. That might get people upset with me for saying that, but I just don't like Daisy. I think she's goofy. So pulling for her, not only is it Daisy, it's also a combo unit Daisy, is uh, a, little, a little sad, but she's really powerful, so I'm pulling her for power reasons, not for favoritism reasons or I'm attempting to pull her. I've considered going the 40k and trying it, the guaranteed thing, but I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. She's really good. She's better than Cecil. But do I really need her? Probably not. Trials haven't been hard enough to matter. I'm sure someday they'll get harder and I might regret missing her, which is why I'm trying it. Hmm, no rainbow yet either. Supposedly rainbows are at a 10% rate, but it's not happening. Rainbows are 10%, right? Still, they didn't change that because they put a safety net. I don't see 10% on here, so maybe they're not 10% anymore. They could be. I have, I have no idea. But I don't see 10% on the banner. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we've only used five tickets plus three, so eight. This is ticket number nine. So, at a 10% rate, the next pull should be a rainbow. Statistically. Let's see. Give me that rainbow. Not that a rainbow even matters. The The, the banner rainbow is underwhelming. Uh, what's she even called? Uh, manure. Ma Am I saying that right? It sounds like manure. Like poop. <laughs> Ma manure? Manier? M min I don't know how to, how to say her name, but she's bad in any case. I mean, she's not bad. She's fine for a seven star, but she's a seven star. We're in the Neo Vision era, so that's all I care about is Neo Visions. Don't want more seven stars. Uh, her STMR is good though. It's um a slightly weaker version of Kefka's STMR. It's a hundred percent magic double hand and 40% magic with some LB fill but like who cares about LB fill 
I'd overall rather more Kefka's SDMRs. His is 60% magic and the double hand. Wow, no Rambos or anything yet. This is disappointing. Hmm. Oh, by the way, they gave a they gave a, a free pull on this banner. The first the first five k pull was free. Um, but it it doesn't count towards the the eight needed. But uh, yeah, my pull was was nothing. I got like a couple golds and all blues, so disappointing. Man, where are the rainbows? What rainbows would I even want? I'd love a fourth copy of Signacio. I'm at three copies, and his his STMR shield is super awesome. I've considered you will seeing him for the for the shield, but it's just like I haven't I haven't needed it. It's good and all, but until a trial uh, becomes unbeatable for me where I have to S or UOC or STMR Mogul or something for a unit. I don't bother. But that is why I UOC'd Cecil. Well, Omni Prism Cecil actually. Here we go. Yeah, the Behemoth Trial was giving me trouble, so I Omniprism Cecil. That's when I use Omniprisms and stuff. Uh, Phoenix Jake. Boo! I don't really want him. He's old. Um, what's his TMR? 50 attack, 30-something. Looks like hit point regen and fire resist. Yeah, whatever. He is a 7-star DPS, therefore he is irrelevant. Even though he was good when he released, he is no longer good. Because he's 7 star. And 7 stars just can't compete with the Neo Visions. Uh, we never got free prisms for that banner, did we? I don't think we did. So, that's actually only a 6 star, Jake. Oh, here we go again. Rainbow. Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, by the way, Summer, Folka, and Citra got a Neo Vision as well. Uh, so did Summer, Fina, and Lid. Yeah, you can see them on the banner. Uh, oh, which one even was that? I already, I already forgot which one it was. In any case, before this banner, I was at uh, two copies... No, four copies of Summer, Fina, and Lid, and one copy of Summer, Folka. So, if that was Summer, Fina, and Lid, I, f I forgot which one it was. I, I could technically make the Neo Vision of Summer, Fina, and Lid if that was her. If it was Summer, Folka, well, I've got her 7 star now. Not that it really matters. But yeah, the, the Neo Visions of those two units, I don't even care about. Even if I pull 7 of them, I'm not going to bother with their Neo Visions because it costs too much to evolve them and make them Neo Visions. you got to use the pearls and all that, and I don't want to. <laughs> so I won't. I just don't need them. For Mage Fights, I've got Neo Vision Saul, and he is real strong. Uh, they are different elements, though. Uh, Summer, Summer Folka is Light Element, Lock to Light Element. She's only Lock, only Light. Not to mention, I've got uh, Neo Visions Aeris as well, that I've never even bothered with. Yeah, I pulled, I off bannered Neo Visions Aeris at some point, and I farmed her shards in the daily dungeon. So I now have 50 Neo Vision Aeris shards. So I could EX1 her and and use her. The problem is, it cost um, it costs that golden pearl to turn a Neo Visions to EX1. That's really expensive. So I haven't bothered with Aeris either. It's just too expensive. That pearl, it just it's it's five k per pearl. It's crazy. I'm not spending five thousand lapis to upgrade Aeris to uh, Brave Shift One when I'm probably not even going to use her. If I ever need her, she's there though. Yeah, I was really hoping they'd make these pearls more common, like from login rewards or something, but they haven't yet. I've only got three, and I don't want to spend them. 
All right, so these tickets are are, are not are not doing much for me. I was hoping to see the unit or some good rainbows, but neither one is happening. I haven't even gotten the uh, the, the new rainbow, uh, manure, manure, whatever. <laughs> I gotta look up how to pronounce your name properly. It can't be manure. Man, 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 manure? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Neo Visions. All right, is this Summer Fina and Daisy? This is what I was. This is what I came for. It can be off banner too. It's a one percent banner rate and one percent off banner rate. So I guess this is 50-50 of being the one I want. What other Neo Visions would I want? I don't even care about any of the other Neo Visions that I don't have yet. So I don't know. I just I hope, I hope it's the one I want then. I hope it's uh. Summer Fina and Daisy. Oh, Neo Visions Aldor King Rain. Eh. I mean, if we're gonna be honest here, he's one of the the lower power Neo Vision units. Oh yeah, we get a card. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. What do I want to see? I want to see the the cloud card. Cloud on a bike with Jesse. Oh, that's one of the worst Neo Visions cards. It's like the I think I think that is literally the weakest one, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, it's like 20 spirit and some really bad bonuses. 30 spirit. I mean, I guess it's okay for spirit, but not really. Oh, disappointing. What is Rain's TMR? I should I should have looked. I don't know. Well, I've got Neo Vision's Rain. Uh, did we ever get login shards for him? Out of curiosity, could I ex one him if I wanted to? Let me uh, let me let me check. I can always stick him on the the Neo Visions farm party. Yeah. So now I have five Neo Visions for the the daily shard quest. That's cool. Um, did, did we ever get his shards for login? We got thirty, so I need twenty more shards and a golden pearl. Uh, these pearls, man, they are just too expensive to just. Randomly upgrade Neo Vision units. Like, even if I, even after I get his 50 shards from the daily quest, I probably still won't do it because this stupid pearl. They're they're so expensive. I've only got three. I, I got to save that for like the really good units. Because if I get Summer Fina and Daisy, I got to use a pearl on her, and that leaves me with only two pearls remaining. So I guess I won't even be using Rain because I can't afford it. Or I'm not willing to afford it. I guess I could afford it, but I'm not willing to spend the pearl to make rain brave shift. I kind of hope that changes on global. I hope they really make them cheaper to cheaper to, to play with the Neo Vision unit. They're just too expensive right now. They're too rare. They're too expensive. Even if you get them, it costs a ridiculous amount of resources to upgrade them. I don't like it. Just It's too expensive. That's all it is. They're prohibitively expensive to use. So you gotta pick like one or two and invest in only them. So I've done like, I've invested in Lastwell, Tifa, and Neo Vision Saul. So I've got a strong finisher, I've got a strong physical chainer, and a strong magical chainer. And my other Neo Visions like Aeris, uh, Nail Rain, I won't be playing with them because they're too expensive. And if I get uh, Neo Visions Daisy and Fina, I'll have to use a bunch of resources on her to get her up to speed. Even if I do pull her, uh, I'm still going to have to buy her 50 shards from the uh, the shop for, um, what does it cost? For 5,000 Lapis. I guess technically I could wait and get um, Summer, Fina, and Daisy shards from the daily quest. I can get one a day from the daily quest, and it would take me 50 days to freely get her EX1 form. And I don't really want to wait 50 days to, to, to use her at full potential. I mean, I could use her without her new, without her Brave Shift. Her base form is still really good. But it just feels bad to use a Neo Vision unit with, without their Shift form. Like, it's like you're, like you're using half a unit. I don't like that. So if I'm not using their Brave Shift, it's uh like, what's the point? What's the point? All right, we can upgrade to, a, to Red Crystal again? Come on. Come on. Nope. Um, okay, Summer, summer that's Summer Fina and Lid. 
Okay, actually the other one. Okay, I remember now. The other one was Summer Focus. So now I've got two Summer Focus, and I guess uh, that's got to be number five, Summer Fina and Lid. Not that I care about her. I, I already went over that. E even even if I pull more, it's just too expensive to it's too exp it's too expensive to upgrade them, so I won't be. I did kind of want at least one copy of the new 7-star, though, Muneer, because uh, her TMR is nice. It's a clothing with Auto Mirage. It's only one stack, but it's still real nice for uh, for some stuff. I don't think the JP server has any sources of Auto Mirage yet. Global has the wingsuit. Oh, there's, there's uh, Leela's STMR, which they have, but I don't have Leela's STMR, so it's irrelevant. Does JP have any other sources of Auto Mirage? It might. I, I just, I'm just not thinking of them. I don't know. I've never needed it, so it's been kind of irrelevant. And I probably won't need it in the future, but it'd be nice to have, I guess. So I'm almost out of tickets. The question is, do I keep going after the tickets are gone? Do I, do I swap the Lapis Pools? I don't think I do. I think if these tickets are a bust, then I just walk away. I don't really want to spend 40k on Summer Fina Daisy. Or at the very least, I'll wait till the last day of the banner to decide for sure. We'll see. Maybe they put out like some kind of insane trial next week that really, really favors her. I don't think any trial will ever need her. I think all trials will be doable without her. But there will definitely be trials where she's good she's good for. Alright, here's a rainbow. Oh, Poppy's STMR. Okay, that's that's neat. That's number four. Uh, her STMR is kinda underwhelming. It's not very special. It's like a staff with magic on it. And it's like nine elements or something. Not nine. It's like seven elements. I think it's all elements except for dark. I believe. I don't know. It's it's still an interesting staff. Uh, I can stick it on a unit dual wielding a dark weapon and then do e uh, super easy elemental missions. <laughs> Those missions like deal, deal, and random element damage. I don't have the summer whip, so I can do that. And also I can uh, auto battle those missions with that and do all eight elements with auto battle. So that's just like a convenience thing. But as far as the power level, I think Poppy's staff has low stats. I think it's like 155 magic and spirit or 160 or something. I don't know. It's definitely worse than, tri than trial or rods from trials. So yeah, whatever. All right, Summer or C Ignacio. Give me Ignacio C card. Uh, okay, it's this, this Sephiroth wannabe girl. What's her name? Um, oh, what's her name? It, it's, it's not Noreen. Noreen is the, the soldier looking one. What is this girl's name? It's, it's not Ambi. Oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a think of it. Give me a minute. I, I know this girl. It's from the story. It's a season three main character. Cleome. That's Cleome. I think. I think. In any case, I think it's my second copy of her, which... It's like whatever, once again, same problem. She's a seven star DPS, so who cares? She was decent when she came out, like three weeks before Neovisions, and then Neovisions came. So anyone that pulled for her, haha, -ha, jokes on you. <laughs> That's mean. That's really mean to say. But I mean, it's kind of true though. People that pulled for seven star DPS, like right before Neovisions came out, that was like a, a big rip. I kind of did the same thing. I pulled for Kuja, and he was, he was like only... He only had like one month until Neo Visions came out and creeped him. So, you know, whatever. It happens. Alright, well, I guess we're not getting Summer, Daisy, and Fina, because the tickets have run dry. Last ticket. Can it be a good one? I guess not. Oh well, there's the end of the tickets. 
JP gives them out pretty much never from now on. We've gotten five tickets in the past, like, four months. No, tickets are gone. Um, maybe I'll do, like, the daily 250 pull per day during this banner. And see what happens. I don't know, it's still 2,500 with no guarantee. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop for now. When does this banner close? Uh, 721, so I've got 10 days. Think about it. I mean, I've got a lot of saved up labels, and tanks, tank power creep only happens like once a year. <laughs> yeah, Cecil came out and he was like the man for an entire year or more until now. So, I'm gonna stop for now. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. If I decide to go for the, the, the 40k, I'll record that as well. If not, then I don't. Whatever. See you guys next time. Alright guys, um, so like a week ago, I blew my entire ticket hoard on uh, the Summer Daisy and Fina banner. I got some random stuff. Uh, you saw that in the previous part of the video if I edited it properly. Um, I did the daily pulls every day. That was something like 1,500 Lapis down the drain for no reason. I got no rainbows, no neos from that. I'm never again doing a daily pull. I learned my lesson. Uh, I used all the tickets we got from the raid. Got nothing. And it's the last day. I think it's time to use 40,000 for the guaranteed. Yep, yeah, as you can see, I've been doing the daily pulls. Hasn't been working. So, yep. I've got, a, I've got a lot of savings, it's fine. As you can see, tickets have been completely exhausted. Still haven't gotten her. So I guess we're going for the guaranteed, the guaranteed. Uh, as tickets. Yeah, so we do... I was just so, I, I hate doing just straight, straight Lapis Pulls. Alright. So 5k, we do it 8 times, we get them guaranteed. Uh, yeah. Or if we're lucky, we'll stop, we'll stop sooner. Rainbow right out the gate. It's always nice to see. I still haven't gotten the banner unit uh, Maneer or whatever for that um, that TMR. Well, <laughs> there she is. I got her TMR now. Okay. So there's one. One pull. And we get these tickets. You need eight of these to cash in for the guarantee. All right. Ooh, I hate doing this. Here's number two. And... Oh, it's a Neo! Come on! Please be on banner. Save me 30,000. And... Okay. That was not nearly as bad as I was hoping. 10k, still pricey. It's actually 15k because because now we have to buy her. Uh, oh, what we get? What we get? Well, we've got to buy her shards from the shop. I don't want to wait 50 days for her shift form. Um, a new trial is coming out to either tomorrow or the next day. I forget if it's tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, we're getting the Tonberry trial, and I want to have a good tank ready to go. So I'm going to buy her shards from the shop. But here's our card. Um, I still want the Jesse card. And I don't know what other card. Just don't give me Luca again. Uh, is that her card? Is that? I don't. I don't know. It looks like Summer Fina and Daisy's card. It probably is. The animations on these are really cool, even though it's like cringy that what they're showing. It's still a cool animation. I I really love Neo Vision cards. Um, hit points. This is this is Daisy's card. Wow. I got Saul's card when I pulled Saul, and I got Daisy's card when I pulled Daisy. You're not guaranteed the unit's card. It's completely random what card you get when you pull the unit. So that was like a one in something like twenty five chance that I got I got her card on her pull. Which is awesome. Um I don't remember the specific let me look up the specifics real quick. Her card is at max level eight hundred spirit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 800 hit points, 
80 spirit, and that's multiplied by um, all your bonuses. 20% uh, spirit at level 4, 20% at level 7, and 20% at level 10. So 60% spirit, and a bunch of flat spirit. Okay. And we've got two of these. I don't know what these can be used for if I don't go to all eight. Uh, let's go look. If I've got two of these, I may as well spend them. Um, two copies, absolutely nothing. You can cash them in for a turtle or a cactuar. Uh, I'm just going to save these. I mean, why would I save them? What are, they're, they're never, they're never going to be used again. Two max level cactuars, whatever. Whew. That... I feel so much better. I feel so much better that I got out of that with only 10k spent. And all my tickets. Oh, this is the wrong shop. Alright, we gotta buy her 50 shards too. Uh, Summer Fina and Daisy, yeah, 50 shards. So the bundle gives 50 of her shards so we can EX1 her and trust coins that no one cares about. Um, well, this gives 5 shards. I'm almost certain we didn't get any login shards from, uh, yeah, the Final Fantasy VI Mog King is being rerun, and I didn't run it the first time, so I just Final Fantasy. I'm farming it with Final Fantasy VI units. But anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure we never got our login shards. Oh, we got 10 login shards, but I need four. I'm not waiting 40 days for her EX1 from the daily quest, so yeah, we're spending, I'm spending 5k. I mean, I'm already 30k ahead, so 5k more does not feel that bad. It would have felt really bad if I had to go to 40k. And then spend five more on top. Okay. So now we've got uh, we've got her shift form ready to go. Yeah. Let's go, boys. EX1. Awakening. Status up. EX level one. Brave, sh brave shift has been enabled. Brave shift. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and level her up to 120, stat pot her, door pot her, get her TMR, etc. Uh, so I'll, I'll fast forward the video a little bit to when she's finished, and I'll show you what her build looks like with my personal gear. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, I have leveled up and stat potted my um, Summer Daisy and Fina, and here is the final results. We get a magical cover tank that also has physical cover on a Magnus ability for absolute emergencies. Uh, but mostly a magical cover tank that has 35,000 hit points, 1,200 defense, 2,700 spirit. She's immune to every status that's relevant. She's positive to all resist with some good resist as well. And of course you could adjust the resistances as needed per fight. Her Brave Shift is the exact same way, uh, same stats. She's got both regular forms. She's got automatic cover, and you know Cecil's got a 75% mitigation that is a one turn. You've got to cast his chain stance every single turn. Well, Daisy has the same thing, except hers is a three turn duration. So she can do everything Cecil does, as well as she can spend a turn guarding and she still has that 75% uh, you know, stance change mitigation on top of Guardian. So she takes literally half as much damage um, with preparation as compared to Cecil. So she's, she is literally taking half the damage of Cecil on top of having dramatically higher stats. This is like power creep to an extreme. But yeah, I got her. That's the reason I pulled for her. Was it worth it? Probably. I mean, I, I got her overall somewhat cheapish. I didn't need to go the full 40k. But there it is. Sorry, Cecil, you're now going to the bench. We've got Summer Daisy and Fina. Okay, there it is. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll be having a, or hopefully having a Tonberry trial video for you after it comes out. Later.